President's Directive of Lifestyle Audits. And this is KRA Man's 600 million wealth on 100,000 shillings pay. And this is one Mr. Joseph Chege Gekonyo. Now, the thing is, he earns 119,000 Kenyan shillings. However, his uh, wealth is questionable according to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, given the pieces of land that he owns all over the country, mainly in the coastal region, but also the amount of money that he has in his account. Let me start with you, Honorable Sangok, on... Um, First of all, do you agree with the lifestyle audit and is this the direction to take? Yes, of course, uh, the lifestyle audit, we do agree with it because we have to get the thieves that have stolen money from the public for a long time. Uh, and let us do a lifestyle audit thoroughly mm -hmm. because uh, we cannot just do a lifestyle audit in piecemeal. Like what I've seen in the standard today is that the guy earns 119 thousand Kenyan shillings correct vis-a-vis -vis what he owns are 600 million million but do we really know uh, other business that the guy owns mm. actually do according we... to the, the the ethics and anti-corruption commission there is no recorded uh, in other income that yes that is what we are saying we should also see other incomes and also be able to scrutinize mm -hmm. does this guy drink does he smoke mm -hmm. what is the expense that come with his life. Because, you know, you can earn one million, mm -hmm. but your expenses are 1.2. Mm -hmm. So you'll die a poor man, poorer than a chokora, because you'll die negative. Mm -hmm. But somebody else may earn 30,000, but his expense is 5,000. Mm -hmm. So all over here, he's able to accumulate, he's able to accumulate mm -hmm. buy property, mm -hmm. and then this property again become a source of income. So we want really a thorough lifestyle audit. And what I've said time and time again, and I'll repeat it here, mm -hmm. that let us get all the thieves. Mm -hmm. A thief of public fund and a thief of public land. Because you know what we are forgetting is that we have the TGRC report. Mm -hmm. We have the Akuimi report. Those are also thieves who have stolen our land. And okay. you know, it is better for you to steal even money mm -hmm. than to steal my inheritance. Mm -hmm. You know, land, is, we cannot replenish land. We so so Absolutely. we have to get all of them. So okay. let the lifestyle audit be tied with the TGRC and Aquimili. So you're in full agreement of the lifestyle audit? Full agreement. 100%. Okay. For me, now. it will be like writing my life history. Mm. I'll be just too willing to you say where I started my clinic, mm. under a tree, mm. and, and the progress that and, I have and, made and over And as years. a public servant, as a member of parliament, have you declared your wealth? I have declared it severally. I'm willing to declare it right now. And you know, my friend, even mine, go to view Sasa. Go to most of these channels, you will see, because I always declare in public, mm -hmm. declare it uh, in written. Mm -hmm. When I'm requested to declare, I also even walk in ESEC and give them my wealth declaration forms fully filled. So, so you're fully transparent. I really like transparency. <laughs> and we really need every Kenyan mm. to be transparent and to tell us, mm -hmm. how did you acquire a 1,000 acres of land? How did you uh, get... Uh, 100, 600 million, for instance, you, if you worked for that money, then you, can, able, you should be able to show us yeah, the, how, you know, the paper trail you know, of how you know, sometimes it's so easy. Mm. Just ask for a bank statement. Mm. You know, if somebody deposited uh, 300 million into your account, we would like to know what have you sold. Yeah, what is, is it that, that you sold? What, what? You know, those are uh, <laughs> 300,000 pro box. Mm. Uh, you know, have you sold a piece of land? That is almost half of a award in uh, Kajado. Mm. So have you sold that half yeah. of our award? Explain to us yes, how explain. that has come about. All right, Professor, your thoughts on this KRA man, 600 million wealth on 100,000 Kenyan shillings. And this, of course, is not uh, what some would term as big fish, but all the same, questionable um, amounts of money in your account vis-a-vis -vis how much you're earning uh, raises a red flag. First of all, I'm very thankful to KTN for inviting my friend Sangok, who has hosted me occasionally in his home in Narok. And uh, I really like this man. That one I have to tell God in front of every Kenyan. <laughs> but having said so, uh, lifestyle audit should not come after the fact. It should be before the fact. Because right now we do not know how this man ac accumulated this wealth. But the question is, did, he, did the government have this policy? Had he, put, had he put this policy before? Like you want to employ me, employing me who, knowing who I am. Not this issue of asking me on television, like 
the, TR, uh, the, the CRC, SRC, SRC commission yesterday, uh -huh. ask me by actually investigating me first, because I can tell you I'm worth 20 million, but probably I'm worth 50 million. Uh -huh. So when it comes to what this gentleman has, I call him gentleman because I don't know whether he got some charities somewhere or whether his parents were rich or whether he was actually... In other words, you're giving him the benefit of doubt. Well, we need, first of all, to know whether he inherited something because uh -huh. we could be blaming him without knowing whether he got the money from his Okay, but do you wife? think, generally speaking, this is something we have not seen before, and uh, the direction that the, even the, the, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is taking is, seems to be bearing some fruit. Well, as I, I, I would rather say that uh, Ethics and the Anti-Corruption Commission yes, yes, yes. is more corrupt than itself, because it ought to have done these things before. Why now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why couldn't they do these things those days when things were very The hard? argument was that there was no goodwill at the top. Maybe now there's goodwill from the <laughs> Prof, government as a result. Prof, this is a very independent institution. Yes. And as you have rightly put it, you know, they are, they are, they are, it is like sending a thief to catch another thief. <laughs> so you tell him, this thief have stolen. So they go there and ask the thief, the how much have you stolen? Mm. 600 million. Mm -hmm. So what is our cut there? That is what have been happening. That's yes. why. So, so are you of the opinion then we should disband the yes. ECC? Yes, yeah, yes, the, it should be part Honorable of Sangok. <laughs> <laughs> Not only the ECC, even our courts. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> Somebody slaughtered a cat yes, uh, today. By tomorrow, he's already convicted. We know how many years he has been sent to jail. Mm. Somebody had a relationship, uh, a girl of 24 years had a relationship with a boy of 16 years. Yet we know this relationship happened at night. I don't know how they got the evidence. They gathered the evidence. Within a very short time, we know that he, the girl has been sent to jail for 15 years. Yet somebody came and accepted that he carried sacks of money, money. public fund, in Quares, and they are not in jail. We have so many billions lost in NYS. NYS 1, NYS 2. Yet nobody is in jail. Mm -hmm. When you ask the judiciary, they say the evidence were weak. Which one are weak? Is it the money that we deposit? Because we pay all the uh, government money through IFMIS. So we pay through the banks. Is it the evidence through the banks that are weak? Or the evidence of collecting evidence of somebody who had a relationship at night? Mm -hmm. These ones are deposited <laughs> during daytime. But maybe then they'll argue that it's the office of the DPP that did not table enough evidence and enough uh, to, to no, have a conviction. No. Because at the end of the day, the my courts friend, only go with what has been presented to them. My friend, you know, these excuses, excuses are justification of failures. Mm -hmm. And when somebody fails, they will have all the excuses. So why are you very quick in uh, ordering for the production of Miguna in court, and you cannot order for the production of bank statements of thieves. 